like uh, just a few minutes ago, right? So if you think about that, if Dory is doing trans translation of a long sentence, by the time she finished reading that sentence, okay, she already forgot uh, um, the, first, the beginning of the sentence. But the, obviously the translation, okay, uh, of a sentence, okay, the whole sentence is important in the translation, right? We talk about that. I mean, the, the, the whole sentence, not only the, 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 the beginning, but also the end of the sentence I mean, I mean, is basically I mean, important. I mean, for the translation. So, so you know, if you, you know, if you finish the sentence and you forget the beginning of the sentence, of course, you are not able to do this translation well. Okay. So, so what do we do? Okay. Uh, there are several types of cells. Okay, with long-term memory, okay, that have been introduced, okay, and um, um, these uh, you know, long-term memory uh, cells have so uh, they are so successful that nowadays nobody use basic RN RN cells anymore, okay, so. The first type is, uh, I mean, that is um, the most commonly used one. It's called LSTN, LSTN cell. Okay, what is LSTN? LSTN stands for long short-term memory. Long short-term memory cell. Okay, abbreviated as uh, LSTN. So uh, this actually was proposed in 1997. So think about this. This 1997 that was a long, long time ago. Okay. Uh, 25 years ago, okay, uh, but uh, I mean, at that time when it was proposed, I mean, at the beginning, it is years by many many researchers, okay. Um, so if you can see LSTM cell as a black box, so you just use it, okay. It just it, it, you can use it just like a basic RNA cell, but. Uh, you are going to get a lot of benefits, such as such as that like, uh, you will perform better, training will converge faster, you will detect long-term dependencies in the data. So you see all these benefits. Okay, you only need to the only thing you need is to you know here. You just change the, the I mean this uh, into chaos dot layers dot LSTM. All the other part remains the same. Okay, and this is already going to make your model perform better. Okay, especially for uh, uh, you know long sequence. Okay, this model will I mean learn much better. I mean the pattern, the long sequence. So another way to to use the LSTN series, you just use the genetic Hera star layer star other than, but in Inside, like a uh, uh, parenthesis, you specify you want to use LSTM cell. You specify how many cells you want. Okay? So the other parts remain the same. But uh, if you ask me which one, this, this version or this version, okay, which version is better, okay, I will tell you to use uh, this version. Why? Because, okay, uh, in this version, okay, there's a, there, I mean, actually, I mean, uh, this uh, LSTM layer, okay, has been optimized, okay, for CPU. So, uh, in general, okay, it is preferred to use uh, this one instead of uh, this one. Okay, but, uh, you know, um, That's just like uh, in terms of the speed, okay, the speed. But uh, you know, what is the LCM cell? How does it work internal? Okay, I mean, you can you can see this is the internal architecture of an LSTN cell. Okay, and you can see this FC stands for fully connected. Okay, 
fully connect layer. Okay, and uh, uh, so you have like the input that goes here. That is that the input is fed to all these four places. And the previous time, pre I mean the, the state of the previous time step is also fed into all these four rocks. Okay, and uh, um, and you can see that. Actually, we have this C T minus one and H T minus one. These two are both states. Okay, these two are both states. So um, remember, I told you. Okay, the state is a list. Okay, some iron cell has multiple states. So L S T M cell has. For example, in this case, two states. Okay, so you may ask, you know, what are the purposes of these two different states? Okay, let me put it this way. Okay, uh, C stands for long-term state. H stands for the short-term state. Okay, and uh, uh, you see. Uh, this long term state, okay, after it enters uh, the LSTN cell, first we have this, uh, this is like, okay, if you see this, this basically just means uh, uh, this one is like uh, um, logistic function, right? Logistic function. So when you see this one, it's just like uh, the, the other two, like here, okay? They act as gates. They are gates, okay? So this one is what we call forget gate, forget gate. So this gate pretty much control, okay, what part in the long-term state to forget, okay? What part in the long-term state to forget? And then, okay, uh, uh, um, and the, this forget gate, I mean, this forget gate obviously is controlled by the shortened state as well as the input. Okay, and also from the shortened state and the input, okay, this GT, okay, uh, um, is used to determine which part in the input is more important to be kept long term. Okay. So this part control, which part of the input is more important to be kept for long term? Okay, so this this part of information, or remember, this is like a, um, hypertension. Okay, this is hypertension. So it's just like a regular neural network. Okay, here I mean we just you know uh, use this hypertension to you know. Uh, 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 we have that layer to, to filter like uh, the important information okay to be kept long term. So this information is you know, is going to here. And then we have this one, okay, we call this input gate. So this input gate is once again controlled by the shortened state and the, the input. Okay. Again we use this to determine like uh, okay uh, this input okay which part is more important, okay? And then, okay, this important part will be filtered and put to here, okay? And uh, this part will be, you know, added to the long-term state, okay? And uh, after that, this long-term state will be passed directly as the long-term state of the next time step. But uh, how about the shorten, uh, how about the output? Okay, oh, by the way, output is also the shortened state. I forgot to mention. Output is also the shortened state. So this output, okay, this, this long-term state, okay, it, it comes it come to here, okay, and uh, I mean, go through a hypertension, and then, okay, it will go through another output gate, okay, uh, which is controlled by the input of the current time step and the, the short, shortened state, uh, shortened state uh, of the previous time step, okay, 
and uh, you know you test this and uh, to filter out the important information for short term. Okay, so we call this HT, which is also output as a YT, by the way. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's a good question. Okay. Uh, it depends on what you. Uh, okay. We don't really. I mean, this cell is not just one single cell. Okay. We. It is normally like. A, a, I mean, you you have a bunch of cells. So so each for each cell, yeah, you are talking about one number. But uh, I mean, we, we, we normally don't talk about one single cell. So with uh, many cells, then we have a layer, right? So it's going to be a vector. Yes, but, uh, but, uh, but if you only talk about, I mean, in this case, one cell, yeah, and this is one number. Okay, and one thing to, to note here, and that is very important, is that, so this FC, as I said, they are fully connected layer, right? And uh, each of these fully connected layer, obviously, just like uh, the MLP you have learned, okay? I mean, they are associated with some weights, right? Okay, those weights are learnable. Those weights are learnable. So during training, during the training, obviously, okay, the gradient will flow back, right? The gradient will flow back. And the gradient that flow back to each cell is going to also flow back to every single fully connected layer to tweak the weight here. Okay, so that, okay, I mean, they know, for example, in here, which part of the information to forget, which part of the input to, 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 to remember, and which part of the information to output, things like that. They, these things will be determined, okay, during training. Okay, so, so long, okay, for each Eosteel cell, you, you sort of can be, can, can, can take it as a small, uh, well, a small neural network. Okay? So, 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 in our Eosteel uh, cell based on that work, okay, you're not actually talking about one uh, a single neural network. Okay, because each cell, Inside is also a, a, a neural network, pretty much. Okay, so this is like a, actually kind of complicated. Okay, so um, yeah, I mean, I, I think I will skip this. And basically, I mean, I I already explained what, what I mean, the, 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 all this. I mean, uh, in my previous explanation. Okay, so uh, uh, this basically tell you like uh, the purpose of like uh, each. Uh, gate. Uh, I think I also already explained. Okay, so you can see that. Okay, so in short, LSTN cell learn to recognize important input. Okay, uh, that, that's the role of the input gate. Store it in a long-term state. Learn to preserve it as long as it is needed. I mean, that's the role of the forget gate. And learn to extract it whenever it's needed. Okay, uh, so this explains why they have been amazingly successful. Okay. Cap to be a capture in long term patterns in time series, long text, audio recordings, and so on. So, actually, I mean, Ale is successful in NFL, uh, sorry, N, uh, um, no, National Memory Process, okay, uh, NLP, and uh, audio, like uh, also like uh, in, in, in the audio, re I mean, generation or like, uh, you know, speech recognition, like audio or audio uh, uh, test as well, okay? But the, really like, uh, you know, uh, um, they become successful. I mean, only when you are using like, uh, you know, what we call memory cell, such as LSTM. Okay, you use that basic RN cell, you know, you, you, they, they cannot perform very well, okay? Um, for long, uh, for, for NLP test, or for like, uh, like a, like a language, I mean, for audio recognition, recognition, those types of stuff, that's just not possible, okay? So anyway, um, so this is like, a, um, if you want like, a inter, I mean, the, the mathematics, okay, 
uh, behind uh, uh, the LSTM. This is like what uh, is done, okay, in the LSTM cell. Um, you can see that well, we just just explain there and the uh, um, computation using a linear algebra in uh, matrix multiplication. They really like a layout. Um, if you understand, if you if you understand the concept I mean, of like a linear algebra in like a, um, um, in previous like MLP or I mean, or CLN, um, they, they are not much different from that. Okay, so I'll skip this. Okay. So one thing that is uh, interesting is that, okay, so you can see that all these gates, okay, all these gates are controlled by the shortened state as well as the input, right? Some, some of you may argue, okay, may argue, well, how about long-term state, okay? The long-term state could also be used to determine the result of this case, right? It may be helpful as well, right? So, so yes, I mean there are people proposing, uh, which call, which is called people connection. Um, you know, people is like. Uh, Probably should not. Uh, yeah, we have female student here, right? So I should not explain the, the meaning of this word because it's probably not. Uh, yeah. Okay. Never mind. Okay. Anyway, I mean, so this word, like, uh, um, if you do a search on, I mean, on, on, on dictionary, uh, the, the, the place that used most, I mean, <coughs> most of this word is uh, is in a strange place. Okay. Anyway, so. So this, this 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 is called people. Okay. So basically, okay. Um, you know, so it may be a good idea to give give these gates a bit more context by letting them peak at the long term state. Okay. So so this idea was proposed by um, these people in year two thousand. So it's uh, you know just a couple of years after you know, the TMC was proposed. Okay. Uh, so they propose an LSTM value with extra connection called people connection. So the previous long-term state, okay, is added as an input to the controllers of the forget gate and the input gate. So here, this one is used here and here. Okay, not only the short-term state uh, and input. The long-term state is also used as input for these two gates. And also, okay, um, the current long-term state is added as an input to the, com uh, to the control, uh, controller of output gate. So current long-term state, okay, so um, here. The current long-term, this, this one, is also added to here to control auto output. Uh, remember this 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 one is that uh, you know, also control like the shorter state or like Y. Okay, so which is like uh, uh, which also makes sense if you consider what is cat in the long term, right? I mean <coughs> so so this is like, if you want to use the, uh, this uh, uh, LCNC with the peephole connection, then, okay, unfortunately, um, you know, uh, they, they don't have, uh, they, they are not supported by the Kera star layers uh, that LCNC, okay? But uh, you can use TF dot Kera star experimental dot peephole LCNC, okay? To create a layer of uh, LCC uh, with the people connection, the label. Okay. Um, so of course you can use this one inside the Keras layer stuff. Okay. 
and then pass the people those things sale to the constructor. Okay. So there are other variants okay, of the LSTN sale. Okay. Um, uh, we will talk about the second one. Okay, that is like uh, also very famous. Okay, we call that GRU sale. Okay. GRU stands for gated recurrent unit. Okay. So this one was proposed by Hyung Hyung Cho. Okay, Hyung Hyung Cho in tw a 2014 paper. Okay, this paper is very important. Why? Because in this paper, uh, not only they propose this uh, GRU cell, they also propose the encoder decoder variable. Okay, remember the four architecture, uh, iron architecture that uh, you know, um, that are used very often. Okay, the last one, the last one is called encoder decoder architecture. Okay, that one was first proposed in this paper. So what is GRU sale? Okay, you can see GRU sale is much simpler, right? First, in the LS, LSTN sale, we have uh, four gates, right? We have four gates. We have four gate gates. We have like, uh, um, um, Sorry, we have three gates. Okay, we have four gate gate. We have input gate, we have output gate. Right? Okay, but in here, you can see, this one acts like an output gate. This one acts like an output gate. But this one is kind of interesting. We only have two gates, but this one acts both as a four gate gate and uh, an output gate. Okay. <coughs> Why? Because think about this. The function of a forget gate and auto gate are kind of, uh, uh, you know, inverse to each other, right? Because you can only uh, remember something when you forget something, right? If you don't forget something, how can you have uh, space to remember something? Right? So that's the basic idea here, okay? So so you can see in this FC, okay, the output, okay? This one, okay, uh, actually is kind of like the output gate. But uh, you will first go to this one, okay? So it's an inverse, one minus the output to determine what to forget, okay? And uh, once we forget something at this part, Okay, it's at, and here we are able to add the new new component to this uh, long term state. Oh, by the way, we no longer have a short term uh, state and long term state. Uh, the short term and long term state are merged in the GRU state. Okay, they are merged. So we only have the edge, state edge. Okay, so you can see, um, and this one control. I mean, which part is important? Okay, in the current input, so this will be added to the long term state. Okay, so this this one um, along with like uh, this one. Okay, I mean basically, you know, um, um, we are we are able to, you know, uh, add I mean, we remove something from long term state and add something to to it. Okay? And then this uh, YT and HT are the same. Okay. So so you can see that okay the GRU cell is actually much more hierarchicalized. It's much more easier than the LSTN cell. And, and you can also imagine why GRU cell was proposed. Okay, in my lab, we actually did some experiment. We found that the LST, LSTM cell, no, the performance is never a problem. If, if, you, if you try to use a GRU and LSTM cell to build the same model, okay, you will normally find that 
It was still sell based model performs slightly better than the TRU based model. The difference is that, okay, the LSTM cell, because it is more complicated, okay, so it takes a little bit, a slightly longer time to train. It takes slightly longer time for inference. Okay, compare with the TRU cell. Okay, so, uh, but uh, regardless of the, the, the complication of the, the architecture, okay, if you compare with the basic RN cell, okay, LSTN cell still converge faster. It is not because of its architecture, it's because it is because it is the this cell inside is trainable, okay? So it learns better. It learns better. So it, it for each iteration, it actually takes a longer time. Okay, come the LSTN cell take longer time for each iteration compared with basic RN cell. But uh, it's just like uh, if you want the model to converge, the LSTN cell, uh, LSTN based uh, uh, RN uh, uh, require, more require much lower number of iteration to converge. That's the reason, okay, we say LSTN based uh, converge faster, okay? But the uh, GRU cell, okay, uh, it, the performance wise, it's very close to what you can get from LSTN cell. But uh, it, it is, um, it has a simpler architecture, and it runs, um, it, it converges sometimes even faster, okay? And uh, they, they, they are also, these are also fully command layers. So, yeah, this is still a trainable, trainable cell architecture. Okay? So GRU cell is a simplified version of the LSTN cell. So it seems to perform just as well. Actually, it's slightly worse, but uh, already pretty good. Okay, already pretty good. So GRU cell is very popular, okay? Even for like the current uh, 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 first year conference papers, you still see GRU cell gets used very often. So the main simplification, I mean, how we spread, so I will not go into detail. And this is like uh, the mathematics behind the GRU cell. Okay, so I think I will skip that. Okay. So, um, so, so far we talk about, um, like a, we call them cell, memory cell, okay, such as, uh, um, LSTM cell or uh, the GRU cell, they are, they, they are able to memorize long-term, uh, 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 they are able to find long-term dependency better. But still, still, okay, when it comes to really long sequence, okay, you find that, okay, the, 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 the GRU or LSTM cell still fail to perform, okay, uh, then put it this way, okay, if your sequence is, for example, like uh, um, maybe 30, 50, you know, then the OSTM cell, the GIM cell, normally you can perform well. But if you are talking about like the hundreds or thousands, I mean, uh, uh, long sequence, okay, then, yeah, I mean, uh, no, I mean, even if you use a uh, LTM or GRU cell, I mean, they, they, they normally still cannot go away. Because eventually they, they, they still forget stuff like, uh, you know, uh, uh, from one time step to another. It's just like a GRU or LTM cell forget slower than basic RN cell. Let me put it this way. Okay. So, um, so if the sequence is really long, okay, then you, you know, it will be helpful to use the convolutional layer. Okay, I mean, we could use a 1D convolutional layer, okay, um, to, to process our uh, input, okay. Um, for example, okay, this is, we can use, uh, you know, 1D convolutional layer, slide several kernels 
uh, across the sequence, which provide a 1D feature map per kernel. So each kernel will learn to detect single very short sequence, uh, sequential pattern. Okay. So if you use 10 kernel, the layer will output, you know, uh, um, you know, uh, um, like a 10 one-dimensional sequence or one 10-dimensional sequence. You know, whichever you you can take it. Okay. I mean, basically, uh, just 10 feature map. Each feature map is one dimension. Okay. Um, so um, um, that's, uh, for example, the power model is the same as earlier, except it starts with a 1D dimension layer that downsamples the input sequence by a factor of 2 using a stride of 2. The kernel size is larger than stride, so all input will be used to compute the layer output. Let me show you this one. Okay. So you can see that, okay, here we use the count 1D here. Okay, we have 20 filter, and the kernel size is 4. Stride is 2. So you can see, because stride is 2, so the input actually gets string a little bit. Okay, but the uh, uh, kernel size is 4. Okay, so we are able to have that. Uh, each time we try to accumulate like the four, uh, like the, like the four steps information into, into one, okay? And then uh, padding is valid, and uh, you know, here we directly use this cup 1 ds to take input. Okay, this is very special, okay? Uh, we don't have the uh, uh, you know, input value, okay? This is directly served as the input value. So we have 20 uh, sequences, okay? And these 20 sequences will be taken by the KR star layer star TRU, okay? And we have 20 neurons and the intended sequence to be true. And uh, we have it go to another TRU layer with 20 uh, neurons, okay? And then, okay, at the end, okay, this is, remember, this is still sequence to sequence. So we wrap the dense layer of 10 neurons by the time distributed, okay? And then, Okay, we can compile this model by this one and then you know you know try to you know train it. One thing to be very careful is that okay because it takes a, a, a kernel size is four, right? So what happens is that okay the first this one um, okay the kernel size is four. The first output of the convolution layer will be based only on the input time step from 0 to 3. And uh, because of that, okay, so some output will have to be dropped. So this is a, a small thing you need to be careful here. Okay, other than that, it's, it's just uh, like uh, what we, uh, I, mean, I mean, the model we, 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 we had previous. But uh, if you try this model, and you will find that this is a fast model, okay? It performed even better than the sequence to sequence model that we had earlier, okay? Of course, there are several reasons for that. The first reason is uh, that we are using GRU instead, okay? The previous sequence to sequence, uh, we use uh, basic RN set, okay? The second reason is because of this, uh, you know, the count one D that help us to explore the long-term uh, uh, pattern much better, okay? So, so basically, okay, these two factors contribute to the better performance of this model, okay? So, um, so basically, okay, uh, 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 based on this concept, okay, um, uh, there are papers out there. I mean, for example, uh, uh, they have used that, uh, you know, uh, convolution layers, and then the, the LSTM cell, uh, LSTM layers, okay? Some of these, uh, you know, if you, if you know <coughs> the, um, the term, okay, you, was, you, you know, like, uh, there's a, uh, 
uh, model called like the TCN, okay, temporal temporal convolutional network, okay. It's a combination of like uh, um, uh, um, you know convolutional la layers and uh, the 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 LSTM layer. Okay, this type of model is uh, good at uh, detecting like a long term sequence. It's kind of like this, but it's uh, slightly more uh, more complicated, okay. more more broad. Okay, uh, in the sense that I mean, uh, first you can we can have more than one convolutional layer. Second, we can have like, uh, I mean the TCN actually applies to not only 1D case, but it also applies to uh, two-dimensional case. I mean, you can check out like, uh, like the literature on that. But, okay, so, uh, you know, with that in mind, okay, so, um, I mean, there, in the researchers, in DeepMind, okay, they came up with a paper in 2016, okay, that made use of only the um, commercial layer, okay, to to you know to explore the um, the long sequence, okay. This model is called WaveNet. A WaveNet. Okay, so uh, in this model, they stack 1D commercial layers, doubling the dilation rate, okay, at every layer. Uh, you know the dilation rate, right? The dilation rate just basically means that how the part each element in your kernel is, or you apply this kernel to the previous layer. Okay, so we talk about the dilation uh, at the end of uh, uh, end of the set of slides in the CNN. If you forget, I mean, please check uh, that the page, the last page of the CNN chart. Okay. So basically, okay, the first computer layer gets a clip of two time steps apart, and next four time steps apart, and next eight time steps apart, and so on. So by you, by doing so, okay, it is able to explore, you know, various the pattern, you know, between various uh, time step apart, okay, from the sequence input, okay. So the lower layer learns short term pattern, the higher layer learns the long term pattern, okay. So the network can process extremely large. Uh, sequence is very efficient. So it looks just like this. So this is an input. So this is dilation rate of one, mean, meaning that uh, okay. So each input is like uh, you know just one, uh, uh, you know one one unit apart. Dilation rate of two just means that uh, okay, I mean each unit is is two unit apart. And this dilution rate of four, I mean, it means that it's a four unit part, and so on. Okay, so this is a very interesting concept. Okay, called graph net. Okay, so so you can see this layer can learn the sh you know short uh, uh, short term uh, pattern, and the higher layer learn the long term pattern. Okay. <coughs> So in the WebNet paper, okay, uh, uh, these authors, okay, they stack ten convolutional layers with dilution rate of one, two, four, eight, two to fifty-six, up to five twelve. So it's uh, you know, so obviously you can imagine, okay, they are able to explore very very long term pattern, okay, and then I mean, this is that it's just kind of like one unit, they stack. Another group of ten identical layers, okay, with again with dilution rate one, two, four, blah, blah, two, three, five, three, and then again another, you know, structure architecture like that, okay. So they justify this architecture by pulling out a single step of ten commercial layers, okay, with this dilution rate 
act like the super efficient commercial layer with the kernel size one, no, 1024. Okay? Except like it's going to be much faster because like well they just increase dilation rate, like uh, the in terms of like the kernel size, it doesn't it's not like a large kernel. The kernel size is not big. It's just that like, uh, they, they try to be, like uh, increase the the distance between uh, elements in in the kernel. Okay? So um, so um, so it's more it's faster, more powerful, and use significantly fewer parameters because obviously as I said, and the kernel is not large, it's just like a, a, they are they, they are you know, distant I mean, uh, uh, away from each other. Which is why they stack three such blocks. So they also left pattern the input sequences so that they, they with different dilation rate, and the output will have the same length. Okay, so so they preserve the same sequence length throughout the memory. Okay, and uh, this architecture, okay, uh, allow them to process <coughs> like uh, audio sequence. Okay, audio sequence. So this is an example. Okay, for, um, let's uh, take ten minutes break. When we come back, we'll finish up this. Slide and uh, go to the next chapter. <coughs>